Last week we tore down the rotted out deck in the backyard, repaired a few cracks in the foundation that was hidden behind the deck, and dug up some more tree roots. With fall temperatures quickly changing, we've been busy getting the house ready to paint before it gets too cold outside. Alright, so now that we got the deck removed, the next step is going to be to go around and fix all of the mortar joints that are cracking on this brick. So let me show you a few just to give you an idea. I don't know if you can, can kind of see that stair stepping up. So kind of a tedious task. We got to go around, chisel out all of these areas, and then we have some mortar repair that we're going to use. It's like an acrylic base. I'll show it to you. Once this is done, it's really just a matter of pressure washing the house and preparing the paint, which is kind of exciting. Now you can really see Chris is opening up that staircasing all the way up and goes all the way basically to the fascia board. So he's chipping away and then he's scraping it out and we'll come back in in a little bit with some mortar repair. This side has a little bit on that corner. This window actually looks pretty good, but this front one, this front one needs some work. So while Chris is working on the mortar repair, it's kind of a one person job I feel like, so um, I'm going to start working on the foundation. We plan on painting the cinder block found foundation with a waterproof coating, I actually have it right over here just kind of give it a uniform look but there's like an old waterproof coating on there so I'm gonna go around with this tool and start scraping it off so that um, the surface will be ready to paint over you can kind of see here how it just kind of comes off I was taking a break, drinking my lemon spindrift, and I took a sip and instantly knew that there was something in there. I thought it was maybe some of this stuff I've been scraping out because I had it next to me. And I like, felt something hard and I spit it out. It was a bee. And then I felt the burn. So the bee stung me in my throat. So. I've never been stung by a bee before my whole life. I've been stung by a wasp, but never a bee, so I've never known if I've been allergic. So far, so good. It's been a few minutes now. I've taken 50 of Benadryl, uh, just in case, and now we're on airway watch. Make sure that I don't have any swelling and have trouble breathing. So Chris is so kindly recording potentially my final moments. <laughs> It's not funny. We are a mile from the hospital, so if I start feeling like I'm having trouble breathing at all, then we will be hightailing it there so that um, they could, uh, I guess, intubate me before I lose my airway. Because then that means tracheostomy. Yeah. Nobody wants that. Nobody, want, nobody wants that. But I'm feeling okay. So then now, um, you know, how much am I going to finish before I start getting all drowsy from Benadryl? <laughs> That's just crazy though. I freaking swallowed a bee. <laughs> oh. The first time I've been stung by a bee in my throat. <laughs> I'm all paranoid to drink this now. 
While I waited for the Benadryl to kick in, I continued going around scraping the foundation while Chris started adding mortar repair to all of the areas that he had opened. This is what we're using, the Quickcrete mortar repair. Got like a squared off the edge to help get it in the seam really good. So we're gonna let that set a little bit and then Chris will kind of scrape the excess off. But it looks really good. Since it's acrylic based, we will have to prime these areas before we use the Roma Bio, but that's gonna be really quick and easy. So for some of these um, easier cracks like he just did, they weren't very deep, they chiseled out like they should. We're just gonna be using this caulking. But on some of the deeper ones, like this one up here, where he started chiseling and it just kinda all crumbled. And so we're gonna actually mix some mortar and do a, a proper mortar repair. All right, this is what we're gonna be using for the bigger fixes. It's the Quickcrete mortar mix. It's already mixed with sand. It's ready to go other than we gotta mix it with water. Chris ended up preferring the mortar mix to the acrylic mortar caulking because he had more control over it and since it was actual mortar, the texture blended in better with the existing mortar around. The next day, Chris went and bought a 4 inch diamond tuck point blade to use on his grinder to help speed up the process. So we're seeing this around a lot of the windows in particular. These um, areas of stress, I guess. So it was cracked along the mortar here. So he used that blade to get it out. And now all we have to do is clean it out a little bit with a wire brush and then put that cement, or not cement, mortar. Mortar. <laughs> put mortar back in. After using the tuck point blade to open up all of the areas that we wanted to repair, it was time to mix up some more mortar. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is wet down the brick because the brick will pull some of the moisture out of the mortar that Chris is going to be putting in and so we don't want that mortar to then be dry and crumbly. This is Chris's kind of method that he came up with. He's just using a spare piece of wood that we had to hold the mortar right up to the brick and then scraping it in, just kind of packing it in all of the crevices. So this one's done. Once it's drier, like about 20 minutes or so, uh, you should be able to like press your thumb in it and it'll be firm. But you'll like be able to be like thumbprint. Then we'll come back and we'll form it again and then wait a little bit longer and then we'll come back and brush it. And then we'll be done. Then we'll be done. Okay. On to the next one.
not too shabby. Not bad for our first time. Yeah, we're learning as we go. First time fixing any kind of mortar. First time everything for this house. And now we're just brushing it clean. We're gonna start painting the cinder block foundation on the exterior. And like I've said before, it's mainly for, um, oh, right, it's mainly for aesthetic reasons. Uh, we've done all these patch repairs. They stick out like a sore thumb. We just kind of want a uniform look before we paint the whole house. So we're gonna use um, the same stuff that we used on the interior of the basement. You can use it on the exterior as well. It's the dry lock paint. The other day I went around and scraped and tried to loosen up any of the old stuff. And um, yeah, now we're ready to paint. It's just a really thick paint. And you brush it on like normal paint. Getting the mortar fixed and the foundation painted were the last items to complete before painting the house. Make sure to tune in next week to see the most drastic transformation yet as we start the process of painting, giving this 1948 house new life. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next week. Ha, ha, ha.